Hey everybody, this is Doc Mac from the Galpy Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Thursday, July 16, 2020. We are here at the Galpy Ghost Arcade. Been an awesome day, got here uh, right around 6 this morning, and it has been non-stop. Finally had a bunch of time uh, to spend. Met Doug Fox here real early, and we were just tearing it up today. Shout outs to Jamie, thank you for joining us today. Um, it was the list, you know, there's always running an arcade, there's always a constant list of things uh, that need to be tended to. Uh, recently, we told you we were just working on uh, Simpsons, put in a new monitor for that, fixed all the uh, controls on it. It's, it's a seven day a week thing, we are working non stop. Uh, shout outs to Greg and Gabe, thank you both for joining us. Uh, today, as I said yesterday, we just got a new rejuvenator here, so we put that to good use. Turns out my rejuvenator had not been working properly for a little bit, which um, made me kind of go back and revisit a lot of the cabinets that we had uh, worked on. It got them better, but the rejuvenation wasn't holding, and now we're seeing uh, much better results. We've got Rampart looking beautiful. Uh, what else did we do? Back here we had Alien 3 the gun. Oh no, I'm just we're screaming right now. So Alien 3 was uh, always a little dull looking and now it looks phenomenal. It looks great. Uh, shout outs to Sean and uh, Chance and Kevin. Thank you for being here. And Gabe's saying, I've been playing Out Foxies on MAME. I absolutely love Out Foxies. We had the game's creator here not too long ago. He showed up, and um, we didn't know until he posted on Twitter that he was he was here. So, very awesome. Wish I had a chance to, to meet with him and uh, talk with him, because Out Foxies a, a definite, a personal favorite. So aside from uh, Rampart and Alien 3 The Gun, uh, we rejuvenate it. We just basically were going all over the arcade just rejuvenating stuff. Uh, Ghostbusters, the blue was real low, now that's looking great. Uh, we did Stun Runner right over there, which is looking phenomenal now. The reds, very, very much better. They were very dull before, now they're looking great. Uh, Jesse saying, hey Doc, was at the arcade last week when I was in town, the place looks amazing, keep it up, thank you so much. That is always the goal, it's uh, always, we, that's the whole thing, it's got to be, the maintaining the machines has to always be the cornerstone of everything because uh, if stuff isn't looking right and playing right, that's not going to be uh, a good time for you and that's not going to get you talking about how we tried so hard to do stuff proper. WrestleMania looking great now. Total Carnage looking phenomenal now. And the Strike Force, super underrated game Strike Force. So happy that it's looking nice now. Jamie saying I'm sporting a hoodie. Absolutely. I'm always always either got my hoodie or my uh, martial arts jacket on. Brian asking what model rejuvenator do we use? It is right here. It's the BK Precision 490. If I don't break it, right there. Great rejuvenated kit. Just picked it up on eBay. Again, I had a 490 before. Um, I think it, it fell somewhere, and uh, now it's looking amazing. Like using it now, it's giving so much better readings than my old one was. So definitely revisiting some of the cabinets that we were working on before. BioFreaks, we had made a post on that earlier on Instagram and Twitter. Um, we had rejuvenated that when the lockdown was in effect and now getting a chance to rejuvenate it, it looks so much better. So a lot of other machines, I want to hit uh, BioShip Paladin is another one that we've been wrestling with for a long time. So very anxious to uh, fix that. Um, we did a, uh, let's see, what else did we work on this morning? It was, uh, we got a lot done today. We got a lot done today. 
uh, Doug was tackling our Bonanza Brothers, which had been down for a while. Having this one down, it was very unsettling. It being a diskette based game, um, did not like seeing that one down. Never liked seeing any of them down, but didn't like seeing that one down. Uh, we changed one of the um, the PCB that connects to the uh, diskette drive, and that seems to have fixed it. The discs seem to be fine. It was probably writing to the other discs and corrupting them. So very fortunate that we have the diskette saved on file. Again, huge thanks to Pete Gores for helping us with that. Uh, cracked down. Uh, well, Doug was uh, buttoning up on uh, Bonanza Brothers. This monitor was bothering me so much. It was starting to collapse. So recap that, and it's looking great now, taking up the full screen. Uh, another one that we were having an issue with was Missile Command. Uh, there was a lot of rollover on the top of the score. That's all been fixed. Uh, so did two, two recapping of monitors today. They're both looking great. I'm um, going to be going, might get one or two more done today. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, shout outs to... Um, Jesse saying, I love the fact that you put all the games in order of manufacturer. We're still working on it. We've got a lot of uh, cabinets still to move. We had a good use of the time with the lockdown going on, but there's still so it's a never ending thing. Uh, Glenn saying, uh, hey Doc, sounds awesome there. Loving the attract mode audio. Thank you so much. It's still a fine balance of making sure that it, everything is leveled properly, but we're getting there. Finally got over to that Neo Geo row and adjusted some of those sounds this morning as well. Uh, Everett saying, when I get home, I'm gonna play Punisher on MAME. Love Punisher, amazing game. So, so happy to have it in the original Big Black cabinet, uh, the cousin to the Big Blue. And just a great looking game, amazing side art on that as well. Always, a, always been a fan of that. Gabe saying, I've been playing uh, N64 version of Rampage World Tour. Definitely a fun game. Um, Tim asking, have you played the new TMNT Stern Pinball yet? I have not. Um, we've definitely been very slow on our, our new pins and stuff. Our last one that we put up was Elvira House of Horrors. And uh, who knows, we'll, maybe we'll be putting up a new pin soon. We'll have to wait and see. Glenn X saying, uh, sending love from California. Galvin Ghost is uh, the best in the world. Thank you so much for that. Very much appreciate that. Been to so many amazing arcades over the decades, and to uh, hear a compliment like that always means so much to me. So thank you for that. Alex, what is up? St. Doc, you're the man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Charles saying, happy Thursday to you, Doc, and, I'm, uh, and all on the stream. Thank you for that. Again, I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody's getting stuff done and uh, finding something to do. And just can't wait till, uh, you know, as things progress and get more and more normalized and back to normal, I've heard that there's, uh, there's always turbulence along the way in getting there. But uh, hopefully everything will keep going and uh, things will keep opening up and we'll be progressing. Shout outs to Caesar, thank you for being here. And Dennis, what is up? And Jeremy, hope you're having a great day. Uh, Mark saying, hey Doc, how's it going? It's going great, man. Uh, being here at the arcade, we've seen probably, I think Pete said we've had about 30 people in so far today, so it's still pretty quiet and slow. Uh, but it's, it's getting there, things are returning to normal slowly. Uh, Jamie saying, hey man, uh, how you came up with the arcade name, please? So, the Galloping Ghost, uh, the concept of the logo, saw something similar on a World War II plane back in 90, it'd be 92 or 93. Uh, my brother had used it as a band logo, he redrew it, and it was, um, they just used to paint ghosts. Uh, throwing bombs or riding horses on uh, the sides of airplanes and stuff. So, just thought it was super cool. It became my productions logo in 1994. And as we were opening the arcade, uh, it was funny. We went into uh, the Chicago Ridge Mall 
and I had one of my Galapagos production shirts on, of course, and um, somebody, this was in the 2000s, somebody like knew the logo and they're like, oh, Galapagos, that's, I've heard of you guys. So we knew that the, the branding had kind of already gotten out there with the production company, so we just rolled with it with the, with the arcade. And so when uh, Galapagos Productions in 94, Galloping Ghost Arcade in 2010, and then all the other Galloping Ghost entities being the Galloping Ghost Gamma, our gym and martial arts school, Galloping Ghost Reproductions, our printing company, uh, Galloping Ghost Pinball, the Galloping Ghost Garage, and um, uh, Galloping Ghost Reproductions, Galloping Ghost Gamma, Galloping Ghost Pinball, Galloping Ghost Arcade, and I believe that's all six of them. Uh, shout out to Dan Icavelli and Ryan Ward sending us 50 stars. Thank you so much for that, man. Very much appreciate it. Uh, Brian saying your parts orders must be constant. Oh, they absolutely are. There's, there's a always every day we're ordering something. It was um, one of the hardest parts with the lockdown was uh, when the mail was all screwed up. It, it, just getting stuff. We constantly need um, caps and uh, components and chips and uh, it's you can't we're always buying stuff even if it's not broken if we see something rare that we're like oh we have that and if it breaks down we're gonna need it later uh, so so we try to keep well stocked so we don't have anything down for too long uh, Alan saying cool listening uh, to your stream in my car that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you tuning in and uh, hanging out with us. Hopefully, you can make it out here to the arcade one of these days. And uh, it's been it's been great seeing so many people that uh, I've talked to on the streams that actually making their way out to the arcade and hang out and chat. And it's uh, it's very cool to put a face to the names. Uh, Gary saying, "Love the pinball too. You guys have my two favorite side by side, no less." Adam's Family right next to Tales from the Crypt. Two great games. Uh, Gabe saying, how's Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon is awesome, amazing. Such a cool game, super rare. And we know that when we put that on the floor, it had its own group following. Like there's so many Sailor Moon fans out there. Ban Presto has done a lot of great, um, like games that have solid IPs, like they, they did uh, Dragon Ball Z, they did um, uh, the, what else did Ben Presto do? Ultraman, Godzilla, and of course Sailor Moon, which is right here. We gotta get this in a uh, four player cabinet at some point, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Cameron asking, you guys got the 1942 game? We absolutely do, we've got 1942, we've got 1943. We've got 19XX, and we've got 1941 Counterattack, which a um, great game, great game, a lot of fun. Alex A. Bonanza Bros. is the kind of game that I just wish was better. I prefer Keystone Capers on the 2600. So Bonanza Brothers, like I played a lot of Bonanza Brothers on the Genesis, and I, I get what you're saying. It's, it's a little slow paced. It doesn't have the same action as Keystone Capers, which is a great game. You're absolutely right on that. Um, so I, I, I get you. I get you. It was, it was a little bit later. Um, what was it? 88. I believe it was 88 for Bonanza Brothers. And visually, just so ahead. It's like they went with almost a, a rendered look. Just a very, very cool game. Cool artwork. Very unique, very unique to say the least. Um, Alex saying, certainly along with every other game in the 19XX series. Um, Alex, uh, let's see here. Charles saying for the Galloping Ghost Arcade, sending 600 stars. Thank you so much for that, man. Very much appreciated. Uh, Gabe saying, how's Golden Axe the Duel? That is right now down at the uh, pinball area. 
uh, until we get the expansion open. We've been having to move some games over into there just to make room for everything so we can uh, knock the wall down. So we've got some games in Canton and we've got some games in the side of pinball. But it's, it's one of those where um, as soon as that wall comes down, everything will be easily accessible. Kind of like we did when uh, pinball, like before the last expansion uh, when we went into the old production buildings we just had machines over there so it was it's not optimal right now but uh, it's one of those things that that's how we have to do it until that expansion goes through should be it's a little behind schedule but we're, we're working on it we're working on it TJ Johnson saying uh, glad to see you and your arcade open doc you definitely look happy man game on thank you so much for that it's it's awesome to have and um, just hearing people have fun here is just absolutely amazing. So very much appreciate that. Uh, Fat Chris checking in, saying uh, 24 days to go. Um, it is, it's creeping up fast, our 10 year anniversary. It's, there's still so much to do, so much planned for. Uh, but it's it's all progressing, so uh, I can't wait to see everybody who can make it out. Totally understand. There's a lot of people who, who haven't, uh, they're not able to make it. Totally get it. No worries. It's uh, it's one of those things where there's so much going on, and um, I've I've had people message me saying how disappointed they are that uh, they're not able to make it out. Totally get that, but just realize that stuff is some crazy stuff going on and uh, as things get better we'll, we'll, we'll all catch up soon enough so looking forward to when that happens uh, Daniel saying arcade is my roots uh, that's that's awesome and a lot of people I talk to people now and they never got to play back in the day so awesome if you grew up with it factor is saying remember embrace the chaos oh yeah you, you have to you absolutely have to there's no other way there's uh, so much stuff going on that you just got to kind of roll with it. Everett asking, uh, what's your favorite Capcom game? Oh, that is, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Capcom has so many. It could, could easily be Street Fighter Third Strike, but then you've got games like Final Fight and Strider. It's tough to pick a favorite Capcom. Um... Philip saying, watching you from the UK. We'll get to you one day. Thank you so much, man. Very awesome of you. Hope, hope to see you out here. Uh, Vinny checking in with us. Thank you for being here. Gabe asking about uh, Warzard. Love Warzard. Another great Capcom game running. that's running on the uh, CPS3 hardware. Uh, it's playing great. Was looking at it. I got to rejuvenate that monitor, too. Shane checking in saying, hope you're doing well. It's been a very fun day, been very productive, gotten a lot of stuff done. Um, and and what, it's only 5.20, so a lot more, lot more left to the day. So excited to get even more done today. <clears throat> Gary saying, do you have a top three favorite games for side art? Oh, that is a tough one. You know, right here, that's a pretty cool piece of side art right there. So is this. That, that was Tattoo Assassins. Also this for Death Race. Very, very cool artwork. It's... You got another one. You got Trog right here. It's so tough. There's so much amazing artwork to uh, see at the arcade. I wish if we had a second floor, I'm sure we could space the games out a little bit more and we could show more of that off. Um... Let's see. <clears throat> Shoutouts to Jay. Hope you're doing well, man. Um, Alex saying, what's the deal with Exterminator? Such an amazing design cabinet, but the game is such a bummer. So with Exterminator, I think a lot of people, it's a very unique playing game. I, I love how it plays. Um, it's one of those where there's a lot of nuances to it. And you're, once you like fully understand the game, maybe you maybe you dig it better. It's it's definitely a there's there's nothing like it, nothing like it. So 
Let me know your next time you're coming out, man. I, I'd be awesome uh, to play to play some Exterminator with you. Uh, Alexis saying I've been putting your YouTube videos on at work, and people definitely ask why, uh, what's that, or who's that. After I explain and mention our local arcades who are still closed out here due to COVID, people love arcades. I'm so glad you're open back up. The dream is still alive. Thank you so much for that. You know, that's that's always been the big uh, thing with the Galpi. We've not spent any money on advertising. It's all word of mouth, so that is very, very much appreciated. Hopefully, Arcade's Out by you will be opening up again soon. Again, crazy times, and uh, the big thing is when they do, make sure you go. Go as much as you can. Send people to those arcades just because they're going to need your support. Um, we've seen a lot of arcades, a lot of our friends that had arcades, forced to close down they just could not take the the weight of their businesses being closed for so long it's tough it was extremely tough for us and like we've been around for 10 years so to see it it's not surprising to see places close up especially arcades so when everything and when arcades by you uh, do reopen make sure you go and check them out um, spend some time and uh, it, it'll really go a long way with them. Charles saying, what's your favorite cave shmups? Oh. <laughs> There's so many. It's, um, I'd have to think. Like, I love Guanga is so good. Uh, Greg saying, I hope Smash TV is bright again. Smash TV is looking great, man. <clears throat> Gabe saying, what's the Holy Grail rarity wise? This, uh, the Holy Grails that we're looking for the top three that we mention are uh, um, two laser disc games, Time Gal and um, Revenge of the Ninja, also known as Ninja Hayate, and then uh, Sega's R360. Smash TV right there. Yeah, those three, just super rare, super rare. Uh, Alexis saying, uh, Death Race side art is everything. It's so good, it's so good, that artwork. Uh, it's, you know, also like the Williams cabinets, each cabinet had a uh, stenciled side art, which just looks so phenomenal. It's just such a, like, don't get me wrong, like I love full color uh, cabinets, like obviously ca Cosmic Shirt Cruiser and stuff, beautiful looking cabinet art, but just something super unique and awesome about like the Williams stenciled stuff. Just usually like three color, one, two, three, and then the back in color. Just really slick design. Um, but he's saying, Max has been practicing on Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. He can't wait to get back in and whoop up on some of the adults again. That'll be awesome. Can't wait to have you out. Alexa saying, Exterminator looks so weird. So Exterminator. This was one that we were looking for for a long time. We managed to uh, find somebody who had one, and it was such unique. It was it was kind of fortunate timing. He was looking to sell something because uh, his cat needed to go to the vet. So he was like, he had a few cats, and we were happy to help out with that. In exchange. We got Exterminator, which shaped like a house. Very, very cool. Um, Jeff Lee, who was the artist on Qbert and pretty much all the Gottlieb games, uh, did all the artwork for the game. And the, the buildings and the houses uh, were pretty much rooms from his house that he lived out in, in Oak Park, which is pretty cool. And these hands, those are Warren Davis's hands. Those are the hands of the uh, programmer of Cuber. So, just some cool facts about Exterminator. Um, Gabe asking, what hardware is Sailor Moon on? It is on its own proprietary board. Like, Ben Presto did not have, like, a series of boards that they used. Um, per se, they just kind of custom-made boards as they were putting games out. Alex saying it's designed like a house looks wonderful. It is. This artwork again. Jeff Lee had uh, a lot of the 
um, the models from the game that he was showing off recently as well, which is just awesome to see. Uh, Isaac saying the Garcada in Mummy Falls, Wisconsin is still open. Thank God, I love that place. I go there, it's the closest good ar arcade to where I live. That is awesome. The guy, Gar, uh, over at the Gar Arcade is the Gar Arcade, just awesome guy, runs a great place. Happy he's doing well. Um, went out there for his opening day. Definitely got to get back out there soon. It's been far too long. Um, Shane saying, speaking of word of mouth support, my brother and I have been streaming arcade stuff on Twitch and we were constantly talking to viewers about Galloping Ghost as the holy grail of arcades. Thank you so much for that, man. Very much appreciate that. That's awesome of you. Um, Greg saying, what game keeps saying dot, dot, dot? That would be, uh, I believe you're hearing Wizard of War. Dennis asking, how's Mappy? I'm going to try to get on that scorecard next week, hopefully. Very awesome. Good luck to you on that. Mappy, it's playing great. I got to change the marquee light, and then it'll be perfect. Gabe asking about uh, how Sega Sonic can take a walk over there. Tim asking, how's everyone? How's things? Doing well here, for sure. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, very awesome game. Always, always like that intro. Then Bio Freaks rejuvenated this. Not coming through great on the stream, but uh, that picture quality is looking great now. Very happy about that. Paul asking, uh, what's your favorite top three characters to use in any Mortal Kombat game? Oh, that is that is tough. Uh, let's say an MK2. That is that is a. Tough, I would say. Um, probably Katana, uh, Jax is so good, Kung Lao, it, it's so tough, you got Johnny Cage is so good, Shang Tsung is so good, it's tough, it's too tough, too tough to just pick three. Charles sent in 150 stars, thank you, thank you so much for that man, very much appreciated. It's, uh, again, all the stars that don are donated to us, we, we put right back into the arcade that goes towards uh, maintenance on the cabinets and machines and everything and helps, helps with parts and stuff. So we very appreciate all that support. Uh, shout out to Brucina checking in. Thank you for being here. I hope your uh, surgery went well. And uh, Brucina saying thank you for the sweet shout out yesterday. No, nothing serious, thank God, oral surgery, awesome. Great to hear you. Thanks for joining us today. Glad you're. Hope you're doing well. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, we. We were. Everybody was uh, sending you well wishes yesterday. Shout outs to uh, bad news to Cruz. Uh, thank you for being here, man. Very awesome to have you. Sean saying, uh, "Hey Doc, uh, you've been killing it with the Monday Mystery Games. I can't wait to come in and play Daytona, House of the Dead Four, and solve a loop." Looking to make it out to another Monday Mystery one of these days. Thank you so much, man. It's uh, we're working on it. We're we're trying to 10 year anniversary is coming up. We're trying to raise things up, even set the bar even higher. Um, Jason saying, will you ever get Galaxy Force 2 up and running again, or is that gone forever? Um, Galaxy Force 2, it's I assume so. It's it's running. It's playing great. I'm assuming you're talking about the motion. So the motion, it brings an interesting problem. It is problematic uh, to have it on with full motion as people, uh, we've seen a lot of people try to get off it while it's running, which I would, uh, I would hate to have something happen like that. But the motion fully works. It is 100% running. And we turn it on from time to time. Uh, we had um, Xavier Woods, the uh, WWE wrestler, was hanging out here. Yes, other people might know him from Up, Up, Down, Down. Uh, he was out here, he came in one night, he was uh, doing a WWE show uh, and just was in town. And he came in here and he won 
the hardcore, the Galloping Ghost Arcade Hardcore Championship right here by playing Full Motion Galaxy Force 2. We had it all turned on and uh, that was the game they drew and uh, Xavier won on that, which was just awesome to see. There's that YouTube video of that, so check that out. That's definitely a lot of fun. Um, Greg saying, tell us about Kung Fu Master. I played it the other day. I haven't got another game on it yet, but uh, it's still early. Maybe I'll play a game today. It's, uh, we're gonna be doing a live stream pretty soon. Started making the harness to do it, but um, you know, we've been talking to Pete about doing some live streaming. Uh, we've been talking to Jeremiah about doing some live streaming. So we are, we haven't forgotten about that. It's uh, just been with the 10 year anniversary coming up in T20. There's just a handful of things going on. Uh, let's see. Jason saying, glad I'm, it's back a couple of times. The last couple of times it was down. I'm happy that it's working now. Bummer about the motion though. Yeah, if, let us know. We'll try, like, if the uh, attendance permits, we can try to get it on for you if it's something that you're adamant about playing. But definitely uh, a tough, I'm, I'm happy to know that it's, it's working 100% because uh, that is such a huge element to that game. Um, Jason, who's my favorite gang on NARC? Oh, that is tough. The, uh, the funny thing, the Dos Loft Gang uh, was played by Mark Lafredo. It's the first, uh, the first uh, gang member that you see. And uh, did not know that was Mark Lafredo. And uh, when he told me that, it was just mind blowing that, that that was him. You see him right there. He also played Mr. Big. I don't know. You know, there's some secrecy over with those guys over who played everybody else. So I've got some ideas of who played um, the other Joe Rockhead and uh, Kinky Pinky. And um, I hope to one day find out for sure. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Holly checking in saying, hope you're having a great day, Doc. Uh, love the aliens row. I'm, you know, it's hard for me to not be having a good day. It's, I get to be around, uh, work with awesome people, get to hang out and talk to everybody that just uh, loves and enjoys arcade games and video games. So, you know, it's, it's always pretty good here. Um, I hope you're having a great day too. Uh, Dennis asking, has Danielle picked a new game to stream yet, or is she still resting on her epic flick flicky victory? She has, she's, she's kind of uh, leaning towards playing Darius, but not, not sure yet. We will see, we will see. Um, let's see. Paul Cruz saying, Miss your brother, uh, do you have a G-Lock air battle? And also remember Getaway. Uh, I, I do. The uh, So G-Lock, we do have G-Lock, the upright one. Um, it is down at, it's in the expansion area right now. So cannot wait to have easy access back to that. So won't be hopefully too much longer. We'll be back on track. But... Um, Everett saying, how did you get Beastbusters The Second Nightmare? So that we picked up, uh, somebody in Ohio had that, and we were very happy to get to get that. Um, just saw that on uh, Facebook. Uh, Ron saying, any emulator machines running old console games? Not here. Uh, here we're all original dedicated, every machine. 777 games no emulators here so but I think on that note I'm gonna take off right now got a couple more things again every time I walk around it's like oh I should go fix that so uh, again hope everybody's having a great day hope uh, we're coming up on Friday tomorrow hope everybody's gonna is ready for a great weekend and uh, is uh, if you're out and about stop on by the arcade so jay see you later thank you everybody so much for everything uh thanks for for walking around and chatting for a bit and uh we'll be back tomorrow around 5 p.m 
have a, a busy day planned, but uh, we'll keep everybody updated on all the progress on the floor. So until then, thanks everybody. This is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade. We hope to see you around the arcade soon. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks.